Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Unix Tutorials by Team RGP, here for all your basic Unix needs. In this video, we're going to cover over how to create files, create directories, then learn how to set permissions to them, and then finally how to set to delete them. So let's get started. As you can see, I already have Putty opened up here. Hopefully you've watched the other tutorials on how to log into servers and as well as how to use the commands ls and cd. We're going to be using those two commands a lot in this video. Now, most beginners in web development, you'll have in your root directory not much stuff. As you can see in mine, these files, you'll most likely just have library. Now, the most typical setting for servers is that whenever you want to put a web page up you will need it in your sites directory okay so we'll go over how to make that soon but right now i'm going to cover i'm just going to make an example directory for now okay now the command to make directories is called mkdir make directory now this you just type in the command and then the name of the directory you want to create so in this example I'll just create example directory and then you just press enter if I do a quick ls you'll see that that's now within my root directory let's make another one I'll call this Example directory 2. Okay, do another ls real quick, and you'll see that now both of them are in there. Pretty simple. So let's cover over how to make files now. Let's cd into our example directory real quick. And let's create our first file. The command for that is touch. Same as the other one, make directory, you just type in touch and then the name of the file. So in this example, I'll create example.html. And you just press enter. And if I do a quick ls, you'll see that that file is now within the directory. You can create any file you want. HTML files, text files, you name it. So I'll just create another one, for example. Dot text. Do an ls and you'll see that both those files are now in there. Pretty easy to create files and directories. You will be doing that a lot, especially if your websites are going to be pretty big. You're going to need to make a lot of files and directories. Get used to it. It's a very useful skill. Now, now that we know how to make files and directories, you are going to want to know how to set permissions to them. Hopefully you've read the tutorial on how to set permissions because this part could be a little bit confusing. Now before I set permissions, let's see what the permissions are for the two files I have inside the directory already. Use the long listing and you'll see that both of these files have these permissions. Read and write for owner, read for group, and read for others. Remember now that the group name is this. So whoever other users on your server that also falls in this group will have those settings and others is basically uh, other people on the net now let's set permissions the command for that is chmod okay now the most typical setting you will use is 755 again hopefully you've read the tutorial because uh, 
these three numbers set the permissions and they can be from any number between one and seven and each of those seven numbers represent a different setting to get uh, to reinforce that go ahead and look through our tutorial again and it will have a full explanation as to what each of those numbers mean now 755 sets the owner to have all three setting all three permissions while for group and, and others to have only read and execute so let's set that up now for our HTML file that I have same as the other ones you just type the command then the permissions and then the name of the file do another long listing real quick you'll see that now the HTML file has exactly what I said read write and execute for owner read and execute for group and read and execute for others remember you can set multiple permissions at once so chmod let's say 744 for example and then example.html and then you put space and example you just list them out one after the other and it should work just fine let's do another long listing and you'll see that both of them have changed now compared to before and now for remember for is for read only and that's what's set for group and others while seven is still all three for us okay that covers how to set permissions now that we know how to set permissions, let's go over how to delete files. The command for that is rm. Okay. Now let's delete our text file. Just type in the same as all the other commands. You just type in the command and then the name of the file and enter. Do a quick ls and you'll see that that file is no longer in there. Pretty simple. So now let's go over how to cover, delete directories. Let's cd back up to our root directory. Remember, you can tell you're in your root directory with the tilde at the end. It might be different with other servers, so be careful with that. I'll just do a quick ls to make sure. Remember, we're in our ls if you find your library up top. Okay, now let's delete our second directory that we made. The command for that is rm directory, rmdir. Okay, and the same as the last one, you're just going to type in the name of the directory after it, and you press enter, and it will should be deleted. And it's not there anymore, as you can see. Example directory is the only one there now. Let's try that again with the other one. That does not work. The reason that doesn't work is because we still have that HTML, HTML file inside it. Now, to delete the directory, even though there are files within it, you will you have to use the rm command using the flag dash r. Now, be careful with this, because this deletes all the directory, as I, we said, will delete the directory and all the files within it. But just because you might want to have actual files in there that you want to keep, this is you, the better option to use is dash ri. This will interactively ask you for each of the files within it whether or not you want to delete them or not. So, Let's type in the directory, example, dir, and it'll ask you for the directory. Examine the files? Yes. Why not? Delete this file? Sure. Why not? And then once it goes through all the files, it'll ask you for the directory itself. Okay. It will only work if the file, the directory is empty. Remember that. If I had put no for the HTML file, this would not work if I put yes. 
So let's put, type in yes, enter, do a quick ls, and you'll see that that file is, directory is no longer there. That pretty much covers all the content on this tutorial. Um, some quick notes I want to add. If you, like I mentioned earlier, I see when you are developing websites, the most typical thing for servers is to have your web pages in your site's directory. So when you're creating that directory, make sure you set its permissions. Um, you can set permissions to files as well as directories. And you want to set it to the typical settings of 755. So 7 chmod 755 sites. And remember, it has to be capital S sites. Okay. And the other thing that I want to mention is that you have to set your permissions to your root directory. Now, this is a little different. You want to set, set it to 711. That way, you have access to the files as normal, but this gives the browser access to the files, but does not allow it to read or write to it. And it prevents other people from entering into your, your server and editing your files or reading them at all. And you can, that way you can save like password information and stuff and you don't have to worry about all that. All right, and remember to set root directories, it's a dot, okay? That's how you set your root directory. You put enter and we can check that out if it's set using a long listing with also hidden files, LA, A is to show hidden files. And you should see the root directory it has now read, write, and execute for us and only execute for a group and others. Remember, you can tell whether a file is a directory if you see a D in the front of it. Um, and remember, sites is going to have 755, the read, write, and execute, read, and execute, read, and execute. Okay. That pretty much covers everything. I hope you guys found this tutorial informative. Uh, please go ahead and check the next tutorial. And thank you for watching Unix Tutorials by Team RGP.